Paying for mentorship is essentially paying for guidance, for someone to hold your hand and walk you through the process for something you do not know. When it comes to people think that they can do a bunch of stuff because they figure out how to do it on the internet or there's this online course, but they don't give you the details. And I think that's the most important part about business when going ahead and teaching one another. It's like, yo, you pay a mentor, I promise you, they're saving you a bunch of money on the back end you would have lost from mistakes. And a Social media strategists, what they end up doing they're creating content for you to be the you for you to be the product, but they've never actually executed the product or service effectively. That don't make sense. So you have to prove to me, like there's no reason that I should be taking advice from on how to build a salon if you've never had a six-figure salon and that's the goal. If you haven't effectively, over the course of years, been able to maintain and, and cohabitate different women from different areas and how to cohesively walk, work together. There's nothing you can teach me because only experience can tell you what you can and cannot do. I already, I already see a problem that I'm going into. The reason why I pay for mentorship. I literally pay three or four people to go over my contractor's work. Just to see if he does it right because I know if the roof is done incorrectly, what ends up happening? Five years in, I've already spent $60,000. What? I'll pay an extra $500 for somebody else to come inspect. I'll pay an extra $1,000 for somebody to come inspect. When you do real business, you understand how valuable that is. And you'll be willing to spend anything for security. But it's only when you're new in business, when you try to nickel and dime, uh, no, I don't want to, uh, no, I don't need that. I can, what? You won't get me. You won't get me. And that's real entrepreneurship.